You seem to be looking for something. I can't find my schist. Excuse me? Schist? It's a metamorphic rock. Oh. Well, here's a nice one. Haha, <laughs> ha. yes, it's nice. But it's not the schist you were looking for. That is nice. Not schist. Here it is. See the difference? Yours is sparkly. Yeah, those are the mica crystals, right? See how yours has banding? Okay, I see that, but I don't know why. It's just intense heat and pressure. This rock didn't undergo pressure at all, just intense heat. Baked rock? This will make more sense in the field. Where are you taking me now? Make sure you get all the tigmatic folds and banding. Is that the stripey stuff? <laughs> yes. These are all gneisses. That is the most altered the rock can become under regional metamorphism. The heat is high enough that the rocks actually get soft, and then the intense pressure forces the minerals into separate bands and then folds them. Where do you get conditions like that? Deep, deep in the earth. Usually at convergent boundaries, where you have one plate sliding underneath the other, forming mountain chains. These rocks used to be the roots of some of those mountains. What about your schist? Slightly lower grade metamorphism. And the baked rock? Over here. Now you have to look closely, but you can see where the parrot rock was intruded by the magma that then became this igneous rock. Right along the edge of the intrusion is the contact metamorphic rock, Hornfels. Hornfels? Where do these names come from? Geologists have spent way too much time alone in the field. That explains a lot. Didn't we see a really big one of these when we first came in here? Probably. My turn. Yeah, this long line over here. Yeah, that is a beautiful one. So old dirty rocks are beautiful? Way too much time alone in the field. True. So when these rocks are under the mountains, they're subjected to all that pressure and heat and lava? Magma. It's called magma when it's underground? Whatever. When plates collide, the subducting plate gets pushed deep into the earth, where it's thousands of degrees. So it melts, it rises, and you can get volcanoes. You can tell all that from a rock? One rock can be a geologic encyclopedia. I even wrote my thesis about one. Aha, uh -huh. and what was that called? Tocconi and Umphasite Bearing Assemblages of the Manhattan Prong. Oh. Was that the schist you were looking for? I can't remember this. Why is it I can't remember this now? <laughs>